Hello everyone and welcome back. We are doing our second video in the Vox Edit tutorial series for beginners. In this episode, I will be showing you how to do animations. We are going to be taking the model that we made in our first episode. So if you haven't watched that, definitely go back, check that out so you know what we're talking about. And um, we're going to be doing some animations on it. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload brand new videos. Let's get into the tutorial. So when you load up VoxEdit, this is the homepage that you get. I have gone through this before, so check out all of that. And in the description, there will be all the links for you to be able to download this and links going back to my previous videos. If you wanna go check those out as well. So last episode, we did the modeler. So we talked about that. I talked you through creating some um, some models to be able to put in the animator. Now we're going to click to do the animator. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new asset. And this is on our tutorial build. So I'm just going to name this uh, toilet final because we're making making a toilet. We're going to save. And this is what we are given to start with. The, um, if yours looks a little bit different like this um, and you've da um, installed the new version, click up here, File, Preference, and Color Theme, so you change it to Dark, Mid-Dark. I like the Dark Theme's the best one for me. You can also change like the color, so all of these bits are the color that you like. So what we're going to want to do, so our root, this is on our skeleton. So our, our root is the center point but everything is going to go towards. We also have down here anim uh, where we're going to our timeline for our animations. We're just going to close that down for a moment and we're going to import what we've been building. So we've built the toilet. We're going to put the water in and I'm going to want the flow animation items. Right, so we've got all of this over in our library. This is ready for us. Now, because we're going to be making multiple things and they're going to have animations to it, we are going to click on our root and we're going to create a child node. And we're going to call this our control node. Everything off of this control node will be movable. So the control node will automatically go to uh, the 000, zero, zero point. And off of that, we're going to also create another one. I'm going to call that toilet. And we're going to click the toilet over here. And we're going to drag it, click and drag over where you want it to be. And there it is. And it should be centered perfectly. Now, this is if it doesn't look like it's directly. So the, when you look at this, this isn't directly in the middle. We definitely do want this in the middle. There are a few things where you could have it on the back, but this isn't even right at the back. So what we're going to do, click the pen tool right here and we're going to go down to pivot. And as you can see, we've got it. It's uh, um, it's on on the base there, which is fine, but it's not centered perfectly here. We're going to go to the pivot. You can even manually move it where you hold shift and move it directly. So that would be 15. We'd have to move it. And when you hold shift and pull it, it does it 0.5 every time and 18. So half of 18, nine, or you can go to the pivot and right click and it will come set to floor or set to center. So set to floor will uh, centered on the floor centered here. We'll pull it in the middle up here. We want it on the floor. I click that. So that is now perfectly centered. Coming off of this, we don't need something else coming off of the toilet, but we do need the bucket coming off of the control node. And we're going to just click, put the bucket there. We're going to get it into position. Actually, we're going to keep it straight to start with. Next thing is we do want this attached to the bucket because we want it to move with the bucket. So we're going to do a child node coming off of the bucket. So we're going to call this water. Create. We're going to grab our water from over here and it will automatically put it to the floor. So we're going to drag it up so it looks like it's filled. So now we've got our nice dirty water. So when we move our bucket, that water moves with it now. Next, we've got our flow animation. So we actually want these hidden. 
it's not a good idea to hide it underneath the floor because when you go to put it in the game and someone's placing it in the game they'll be able to see that underneath it'll look messy so we don't want that we could either do it off of the bucket and hide it inside the bucket or we can hide it inside the toilet either one should be fine i think we're going to do it off of the bucket um so we're just going to call this uh flow flow one and as you can see because it's centered it's right there so we're just going to move it up slightly so it doesn't get seen and then we're going to call this one flow two and once again we're going to click drag right over there right so now we have everything that we want to use out on here we we're going to want to get this set up so we do want this centered i want the bucket kind of rotated a little bit and because all those bits of water are connected to that bucket they're all moving with it that's uh and the thing about this as well is you want the whole asset to be centered and because we've got the addition to the bucket we do actually want to move this out to about there now that looks like it's more centered between all of it there we go lovely so this is where the animation comes in we're going to be doing the animation right now so i'm going to keep idle right there i'm also going to rename it idle 01 and then from that we're going to click down at the bottom new and we're going to call um we're going to create animation now even with an idle animation once you start putting other animations on even the idle one one keyframe so that's one of every one of these tiny lines we can zoom out you see like right there it's a second we want to be zoomed in and right there the very first bit and all we're going to do is go to the control node this is the quickest way to do this when you're only having to do starting position exactly the same is you're going to hold control down left mouse click and drag copy it all click copy and then we're going to paste and we'll see nothing's moving nothing's doing anything which is perfect that's what we want now we're going to go back to toilet on and this is where we're going to start doing our animation once again this is for beginners so i'm just doing very simple animations and trying to keep it real nice and simple for you guys to be able to follow along we obviously do have lots of other bits here here we can see like the skeleton where everything's connected we can also uh flip uh our models over this one for rotate and also this is new as well right over here on inspector where we click uh, certain assets to the toilet for one we can now actually turn collision off here which is amazing this is what we've been asking for so much this is what we've wanted because whenever you do animation it automatically puts a collision box around the entire thing which can be quite irritating so by taking collision off uh, we make it possible to be able to get people closer up to the animations. So what we want is the bucket starting in its starting position and at around about the half, half a second. What we're going to do is it's going to be like a magic bucket an invisible person's picking it up. So we're going to go up and then we're going to have a rotate. And once again, because everything is connected, it's all rotating with it we go up rotate and at the same time that we're rotating uh nope we want it to go up slightly more so we go up and then we're going to move forward to about here and start tilting it slightly probably should have put the pivot more up near the top where it would be being tilted but we can we can work with this right now this is where we're going to see everything happen so we're going to get our our droplets to start coming out we're just going to copy because we want this to stay inside up until that point and then straight away and i'm doing this at um one one keyframe right here so then it just appears 
and we're going to have this rotate would like it to sort of splash more there right goes up goes in and at this point i'm also going to have this one come out tilt a little bit more that's why we don't have it go on the bucket because then it tilts everything okay so ignore when i said this should go on the bucket put it put them um, connected to the toilet and have them hidden in the toilet um and then do what i showed you with the single do a single just going up to that starting position so where it's a single keyframe have it come out of the toilet up near the bucket and go down i can work with what it's doing right now but just for you guys just do that so um instead of having the child nodes come off here uh just have them come off the control node hide them inside the toilet and we do exactly the same so you would uh click to copy their starting position uh to the point where you want them to show up one keyframe later you'd move it right up to the bucket um mouth opening and then you'd have it flow down okay and now we're going to move the bucket back down so we want the bucket to stay in the same position the whole time it's up here and it's been tipped so we're going to grab copy and paste i want it to go down a little bit out also going to rotate it and this is a little trick that i found is super super helpful so say you kind of want it to end at around about here click where it started from copy paste and then it will end up in that position and you can just make slight changes where it doesn't look so good so this is maybe maybe a little too close right there so what we're going to do is at this point I'm just going to have it move out slightly so it comes down moves out rotates and goes back to the floor which is great and we're gonna wait for a few seconds we're gonna have this copy paste right there but it can sit there for a moment so let's just check that what we do need to do is everything needs to end at the exact same keyframe so we're going to copy these two because they've not got any movement. I'm just going to paste those there. Beautiful. And then we take the last keyframe here, copy and paste it down. Um, only because you don't want to click and drag this across because then you'll be dragging that whole animation across. So it will be taking longer for that water to go down. You've just finished your animation for your simple toilet um do give it a try the way i i said um off the control node make the make the water fill and um the the flowing water go into it the main bit of water can be attached to the bucket because you definitely want that moving up with the bucket um so that can stay in there but when it comes to the yeah the flowing water i would say control node hide them in the toilet hopefully this was really helpful for you to get an understanding on the basics of the animations there are other features as well where to do with like duplicates things like that which we will go into a little bit more at a later date where we'll talk about that um the next e the next episode in this series it will be me talking about the templates and how we can edit the templates within vox edit to make your own character creature whatever that you want to make we'll be talking about editing those so stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe smash that like button leave a comment down below don't forget to check out some of my other videos check those out 
Uh, everything you'll need to know about this uh, sandbox will be down in the description as well as the previous tutorial talking about the models. If there is anything that you would like to be covered, please leave it in the comments section and I will cover it hopefully soon. I'm trying to get as many of these done and out there for you guys as possible. As always, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Goodbye!